What's up, guys? You're watching another episode of Ball Sports. Enjoy. Welcome back, guys. Another episode of Ball Sports. Today, I got DB here with me. You know, we're back at it again, making another episode for you. This is the boxing guy, so anytime you see a video going on, with him in it, you know it's the boxing. Uh, we got a couple that we're gonna break down today, getting some videos out the way. Uh, to jump into it, we got Paul versus Woodley happening August 29th. Uh, it'll be happening in Cleveland, Ohio, Jake Paul's hometown. Um, I think it's taking place at 190 pounds. And um, shit, we'll just jump right into it. Uh, how does this fight go, you think? Um, I, I have to say Tyrone, man, um, mm. Mm. I mean, the guy, the guy can box. I mean, yeah, he can box, um, I, I know he's, he's, a uh, trained with, the uh, Mayweather in the Past. Yeah, he yeah. is. Um, he's doing it right now too. I'm pretty yeah, sure. At least he's uh, in there a little bit. And I mean, he's he's been fighting like before Jake Paul was even like, knocking dudes yeah, out too. Yeah. Okay. So like he, in my opinion, as as long as he comes out and and I mean, like he uses his IQ and like his like. The gears, and like fighting, muscle like, memory, yeah, yeah. all of that. I mean, I, I mean, it should, it should so, be. So, so do you think? Are you just saying he flat out wins? Or are you like, do you? What's a what's a round prediction? Is okay, this yeah. is it a decision, split decision? And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give okay. you my opinion. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be completely honest. My opinion. Who has, um, who has Paul fought? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, Couple he, bombs. yeah, he knocked Couple out bombs. Robinson, yeah, he knocked out Askren, but to me, Tyron is his first actual test. I yeah. mean, um, I don't think anybody's he, disagreeing there. Even when you can still argue it, oh, Tyron's not known for boxing. He's not, but he still knocks people out. So, yeah. so his boxing is still good enough to where it's a certain type of test. Like you know yeah, I mean? and uh, like the thing with Woodley is like, if you look up his highlights, he's knocking people out. He not wrestling them. He not choking them. You look up top five Tyron Woodley finishes. It's going to be him folding guys up is what it's going to be. It's going to be him Definitely. knocking somebody out. Um, so what? You th how do you think the fights go? Give an official prediction. We'll start it off with that, um, and then we got a couple more. All right. My opinion, I'll say, um, how long is it? Eight. I forget. So eight. eight rounds. All right, so. Not bad, honestly. Not I bad. think, I think. Tyron is going to knock him out. Mm. I think now Paul, yeah, yeah, I mean alright, so he's an okay boxer. I mean like he's not he's not yeah, he are. he's not horrible, but I mean I just feel like he is just trying to like knock him out and I think that Literally, hopefully, he uses his <laughs> IQ and like his. So, what you thinking later then? Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say later on. That's because I think I think Jake Paul is like he's like fairly decent enough to like not get like. Knocked out early, if that makes any sense. Like he, like yeah. he, he's been training. He should be long least. enough to where he, he should be. To where he shouldn't just come out and try to knock him out like Robinson or Ashkin. Because like 
Tyron is the real deal. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean? And uh, he used to be at least. You know what I mean? I don't know. He uh, his last, you know, the fights that he did get beat. Uh, I think he lost, and I can be corrected, but I think he only that last one that he fought, he was stopped on the feet. That last one, I know he was. But other than that, I know Kamaru Usman tackled him and beat him up. Colby Covington wrestled him, broke his rib. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. And then there was there was one more that I can't think of. I can't think of it off the top of the head. Yeah, you wouldn't um, know that. I'm not a big yeah. UFC. Um. My prediction for the fight is, I'll say this to start off with, that the early rounds, if Paul can connect big and kind of get Woodley wobbling early, uh, definitely be in his favor to to try that method. Um, Because Tyron's got cardio for days. Dude fought plenty of world championship fights. Uh, 25-minute fights, you know, he he does that shit. The cardio is going to be there. He never gassed out. Yeah. He's never gassed out. So Hunter rounds too, like like. I think the first if Paul don't get him out, and Paul said a third round knockout is what he's predicting. But I'm saying if he doesn't get if Woodley gets past the third round, this is Woodley's fight. Because I don't think, I don't think uh, we we haven't really seen his jaw tested, but I don't think Paul is going to uh, go out early. Yeah, and, he's and Woodley, heavier too. I isn't he heavier too? He walks around heavy, but you gotta think Woodley probably does too. He fights at one seventy, and the dude's jacked. Like he looks like a NFL running back dude. Yeah, like yeah, he's, he's a huge. giant person. Bro. Yeah, he is big. And uh, so they're both one ninety is probably ten pounds away from their walking rate. If I had, uh, walking weight, if I had to guess, they probably walk both around like two hundred. Yeah, I know Paul does. Paul said he walks around at about two hundred and. That's an easy weight cut. Well, yeah. You got to yeah. miss a couple meals. Uh, yeah, lose 10 pounds, 5 pounds. Like, that's nothing. Uh, so, I'll say, um, I'll say Paul um, within the first three. Other than that, Woodley's got it. Paul with the, Paul within the first three. I see you smiling. Yeah, yeah. He, he, has, thinks I'm I mean, he thinks I'm he tripping. He thinks I'm tripping. He has to. Like, honestly, I just, listen, man. I just hope that Tyron doesn't get caught up you know and all like like antics like like he, he will get into and, a fire like, fight yeah man like, yeah, yeah like he just needs to come out there keep his hands up and just and box work his job like yeah and like, box box him literally use like, his iq and and stay he wins. calm and stay he wins loose. easy like this should be easy yeah you, like honestly, you know, it should. When you match him up on paper, you take a three and zero <laughs> YouTuber who's you know. I and I hate to say it, I love Nate Robinson. I probably knock Nate Robinson out. Ben Askren, <laughs> Ben, I got his jersey in my closet. Like I'm telling you straight up, like I, he I, I, he showed love on the Instagram and everything, but he can't box. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. Like you got four. He had four months to train for that fight. Five months, like. It doesn't work like that, bro. Like, uh, I've been boxing a year. You put me in there with somebody who's got three, four months of training, I'm going to hurt him. Yeah. I'm going to hurt him. It's just, it takes time. And even, and that goes the same thing. If I get in there with a dude who's been in there three years, I'm probably going to get beat yeah. up. It's uh, boxing, you got to yeah. have that time. Boxing is easy and hard at this. Well, like, yeah. At this. There's a Same there's time. only a certain amount of punches you yeah. can throw. Slips, rolls, and you know what I mean? Like it's just repetition on doing those things and it's also experience too. And that plays on the Woodley thing that you're talking yeah. about. Getting punched in the face with smaller gloves, like it's a, it's a experience thing. And when you have that much experience you're expected to win, like you saying. But I think that I think Paul, um, I'm not saying he's a great boxer. Or nothing like that, not yet. But um, he's okay. I, mean, I think he's... Woodley's a little past his prime. Um, yeah. You know, he's thirty-nine I mean, yeah. years old. He's been be. I think he's lost four, or at least four, maybe five in a row. Like he's he's been getting beat up. Um, I mean, talk about being at the top to straight to the bottom. Like I don't know if he was getting another UFC fight, maybe in Bellator or the One Championship or something like that. Uh, or even the PFL, like he could have got something there. But as far as UFC fights, 
Yeah. Dana White don't do that. You lose, you lose three or four, you're lucky you ain't cut, to let, let alone to lose four or five. Um, what's next for Paul if he wins? Mm. My opinion, he got he got a fight. Even if you take a tomato can, bro, and beat him up, like a oh, uh, 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 boxer who, um, it, I mean, take an old guy and whoop his ass or something. You know what I mean? But, like, fight a boxer. You have to fight a boxer at this point. Because that MMA shit, we see it all the time <laughs> in the gym. That MMA shit, when you come in and you're used to throwing kicks or punching to get a takedown or something, that shit don't work like it like you think it would. It sounds good on paper. But it's a whole different story once you get in there. <laughs> and yeah, like I literally we was in the gym, I'm getting off topic, I'm rambling, but we was in the gym and a kickboxer came in and a dude had been in there like three months as kickboxer been kickboxing for a year and he literally got whooped. It's cause that that shit don't translate. Just like if we go into the octagon, we're gonna get slammed and probably put in an arm bar. Yeah. It is what it is, so it's 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 apples and oranges. It's the same thing, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like they they coexist, but you can't you can't mash the two together. Um, yeah. Uh, back on topic though, Paul Paul has got to fight a boxer at some point, and I know he's probably heard this a million times. But you got to fight a boxer. Um, I'm an amateur boxer. You know, it'd be great if I could fight MMA guys and basketball players and shit for my fights. That'd be awesome. You know, I'd probably, <laughs> like and like Ben Askren like. I told you, I'll whip Ben Askren. He can keep the weight, all that. He can be 190. Uh, like, you gotta you gotta fight some real fighters because uh, whooping YouTubers yeah, yeah, and you get... basketball stars and wrestlers is not gonna do it. That, that don't get no credit for me because yeah, I could do the same thing and I'd probably not come out too. Like, for real. Um, no cloud over here from that shit. Uh, is Paul a real boxer, and do you think that that Canelo shit is his real deal? You think right, he'll yeah. ever fight Canelo? All right, so he is, he is talking crazy. I mean, the fact that, like, he, all right, well, let's say that he's that he loves boxing and he's just not in it for the money. All right, awesome. Let's say that he truly wants to be a world champion. Please don't fight Canelo Alvarez. The Jets <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. Don't ever. Don't even speak yeah. about him. You right? can argue that he's at least like in the top ten boxers of all time. Yeah, you can. You, you can. can. Like he, the only person he's actually lost to is Floyd fucking mm -hmm. Mayweather. The dude. Who's I don't know about out. top ten, but Mexicans, as far as like Mexicans, he's at the yeah top. Yes. Yeah, no doubt. So I mean, but um. Um, is that Canelo fight realistic? Uh, no, I mean he it, get it shouldn't be from a business yeah, standpoint. But well, you know, actually, from a business one, I mean it probably makes him well, crazy. Well, I'm saying like it at the, at the end of it though, like let's say he goes like seven and zero, oh, eight and zero. Oh, you know what I mean? He then win. Yeah, but for the paycheck, no, you might yeah, yeah. you might get beat up for the paycheck. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you could man, that's potential. Like they probably both make. At least thirty mil on that fight, like, fuck it. If it was the last hoorah, I might as well make thirty mil off of it. Yeah, I mean that's usually what Can Canelo, Canelo makes anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then realistically, you it's anywhere from thirty to fifty. So mm -hmm. why fight one of these young guys that you could potentially get hit by? I know Canelo schools everybody. These guys actually know what they're doing. Or fight the YouTuber with four and zero, who's three and zero, and get a twenty million more. You know what I mean? Like, who's not really a threat to you in a degree. But I mean, they, yeah, they would have to old. meet up in weight classes, though, because, you know, Canelo's like 168 or something right now. And he Paul's still whoops, 190. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, still, yeah, no he still he still would whoop him. Um, <laughs> what's, 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 what's extra that's clear? He um, whoop him. And then the last question I got was, can Paul win a world title? Um, I'll say this, not at 190. <laughs> not at 190. No, not Them dudes hit way too hard. Listen, man, I'm going to be no completely way. honest. I mean, who... Who does, like... No time... Like, no time soon. Like, no. <laughs> like, no time soon. Like... You know, they do hand them intern belts out. Yeah, and shit. yeah. And now that he's he, with Showtime, they could... They could finesse something and... 
But, you know, he and at the end of the day, he's got to get past Woodley first, sir. None of this shit that we're talking about happens. Yeah. He loses to Woodley. All this shit shuts up. This Which video he should. means nothing. He should. Because he'll never get a Canelo fight. If he don't go undefeated, he'll never get a Canelo no, fight. I mean. And, uh, shit, while we're on the topic, we'll end it with this. Uh, and we didn't even have this wrote down. Does he beat McGregor in a boxing match? I was just thinking that, too. Because I don't think so. I think All McGregor. Right. I think McGregor would have been a good boxer. I know he can kick and shit, but like I think if you watch him fight, he he leads with that that front foot, like he's heavy on it. That's why Dustin Poirier kicked it out from him in both the fights, or I guess in all three of the fights. Well, no, the the first one Poirier just got beat up, but uh, <laughs> the second and third he's kicking Connor's leg, and that's because he's got that boxing heavy stance. And uh, I guess this is another one that we could talk about, but it probably um, wouldn't happen. Uh, he was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao, which I don't think. I think Pacquiao beats him, honestly. Uh, McGregor. Connor, yes. Yeah. Uh, I would say but, uh, boxing, yes. Um, does Jake Paul beat McGregor? All right. You know, Once they're, again. They're completely different sizes. Yeah. So. Once again, my opinion. All right. You're t- t- talking about Conor McGregor, so that's a world class champion caliber fighter. With the fist, too. Yeah, you know, when you're talking about someone, Jake Paul, what, what, who has he fought? You understand what I'm saying? He hasn't fought. A lot of them get like. like he like, hasn't fought anybody, no, so like, yeah. he's not a world class. So, once again, if Conor uses his, yeah, yeah, like, IQ, IQ yeah. I mean, like, he's. I don't see why. I mean, it's easy work um, to me. So, uh, wrap it up. I got Paul in the first three. He's got Woodley in the back half of it. We'll see how it goes uh, August 29th. Hold on. You think You think Tyron's about to lose? Yeah, Paul's got to get him out of there. Oh, way. my God. I also feel like, to a degree, it's kind of a setup. You know, they're trying to build yeah. the Paul up All to, right. so to I will make money. That. And yeah, you yeah. know, like they're. How would we? How would we get knocked out? Let's just be honest. There was something like, <laughs> you know, there was some honey in the background. Like, if he's I mean, smiling, let's, yeah, if let's he's keep smiling it real. when he wakes up, you well, already yeah, know what happened. Yeah, man, let's keep it real. But so yeah, Jake Paul in the first three. He's got Woodley in the back half. I actually hope it goes a little bit so we can actually see what Jake Paul's made of. Um, you know what I mean? Like, get to see him, see what his footwork's like, see if he can slip and roll a punch and uh, not just face me. Yeah, and he'll, do, he'll do better than what we're all expecting. Mm-hmm. Probably, like, I'm sure he changed Yeah, but I hope, off I hope it goes late so we can see him. Yeah. Um, we're 18 minutes in, though. Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna, <laughs> me and you always make long videos because we get in these big discussions. But, uh... That's the end of the video right there. Woodley vs. Paul, August 29th. Go check it out. Um, me and him might be live streaming. Uh, if we're not together, if we are, shit, we might set the phone up. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> August 29th. Um, check it out. Like I said, if we're on the live stream, come hang out with us. Uh, we go live for some of the fights. So uh, make sure you pop up for that. And uh, let me know you guys' predictions in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. We're almost uh, 100 subscribers, so we're really, really close to that. And I think I need like seven more. Uh, be dope. Last video is going crazy. I appreciate all the support. It's at like 300 views right now. Um, I'm gonna leave it in. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in the description. You guys can go check that out. We'll get that to 300 views. Um, and thanks for tuning in, guys. It's been another episode of Ball Sports, and we're out.